previously on EBS Vlogs. I'm thinking about getting a FD RX-7. What, what if I don't buy it? It's embarrassing. <laughs> Looking for a person that can respect the value of this car. Is that you? I think I'm gonna back out of that now. Why? We are here to look at a potential RX-7. Yeah, I told him, I said, hey, I wanna buy it. I'll pay you right now. And he's like, well, I'm not ready. Uh, they're allowing me to think now. Is this really the car for me? A few days have passed, so Ted has decided to go ahead and purchase this one, so we're here today to finalize everything. I have never sat in a right-hand drive car before. Oh, this is so weird. It looks so weird having nothing here. Full Japanese experience. Apparently, this is a flare, the guy says. Oh, look at that. Be careful when driving when Godzilla is out in a bouty. <laughs> So first thing we're doing to the RX-7 is one of the speakers has popped, so we're replacing it with some group by speakers that Ted got us on forum. Focal, nice. New head unit for the car too. Hey Ted, how much money did you get off of the head unit with the group by? I think we signed up for 10 people and I got like $300 off. Sure you did, okay. So we're doing something really unique with this RX-7 is that normally we do really high-end premium products, but this time we're gonna try to group by everything and see how that goes. The wheels that we have on here, we're gonna change them out for some group by forge wheels that we found on some forums. Same thing with the weather stripping, same thing with the head unit as you saw, the speakers, uh, even the exhaust, everything is gonna be group by so that way you guys can replicate the same thing with your own budget, however cheap it may be. I heard he did a group by on the car. There was this dude selling like 10 RX-7, so 10 people got together and they bought 10 RX-7s. <laughs> Different conditions. So I improved the headlights by replacing the halogen bulbs with LEDs. I tested it against the garage door and it was way brighter. I don't have a projector or lens, I have just LED bulbs. So one that just blind people? Yeah. <laughs> Another Tesla Model 3 is ready to hit the Houston roads. It came straight from Tesla. We did our very popular chrome delete and sand black. Fender badges, door handles, mirrors, window trims. We did keep the T logo chrome just so it has an accent color, but everything else is blacked out. Since summer is here, we had to tint this thing so it wouldn't be so hot on the inside. But I'm gonna take 30 on the sides and the back, and of course 70 in the front windshield so it stays nice and clear, but blocks an insane amount of heat. And this is through the side windows, this is 30%, and this is through the big back window. So if you want the same thing done to your Tesla, hit us up. I don't even know if I've talked about this product that we sell, Dylan Optics. So for those of you who don't know, Dylan Optics is a really high-tech premium sunglass brand. You may recognize them because they have a really unique feature with their lenses, which is this matte. Hey Dylan. Yeah, what's up? You may recognize their sunglasses because they have a really unique matte lens design to it. It looks like it's frozen, like BMW frozen. I figure I'd show you what we got in. Not only does it look really unique, but it actually is a much clearer image when you're looking through them. A lot clearer than Ray-Bans and Oakleys. If you ever had those, sometimes depending on the lighting, you might get this weird reflection of like your, the bridge of your nose in the lenses. So when it's a matte lens like this, you don't get that. And the cool thing is these are also made in Italy. If you have prescription sunglasses, Dylan Optus can custom make you a set of lenses that will fit your prescription. Sorry for just kind of ruining your unboxing. I'm making it better. You can see my chest that looks oversized in this small shirt. It's like when Will wears his extra small Texas DA shirts. I think it's getting smaller, Will. I think it is too. My mama said you know what? So these are the brand new 46 Charlie. I think this is the first time they ever came out with a black camo finish for the frame, so it's really neat. As you see, the lenses are blue. Inside, you have a more bronzish hue in the lenses to give you a much more natural look especially when you're outdoors polarized made in Italy the Cooper so this is more of your typical classic Wayfair design gloss black frame it's almost like it's clear see-through so you get some of the gray in it this is what it looks like on the side the grease wood it's in a shiny silver and we even have it in a black frame too the Parker ooh so another clean Wayfair design gloss black silver lens this time the patents gloss black frame the George and I know it seems like there's a lot of blue lenses from the ones I've shown you but keep in mind you can choose other colors like gold gunmetal Metal, black. We just happen to get a lot of blue lenses just because this is the most popular 
the color. Last but not least, the Mikkels. Avier style with these slits in the middle. These are metal, has a nice weight to it. So if you guys want a pair, just hit us up. Our content info is in the description down below. We also have them here at the shop too, so you're more than welcome to come by and try them on and see like the clarity. Clearer than Ray Bans? Oh, yeah, gonna see which one's like fit me. He's gonna see how soft the light is. What the? Told you, dude. Those are actually really clear. Holy, they are clear. They're really clear. That's it for the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We want to work on your car, so hit us up. Our car oh, info no. is in the description down below. And if you haven't yet, please go ahead and like, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate that. If you want to keep watching our video here, that thing you might like to check it out. I'll see you guys next time. What? I'm holding a speaker. Ah! What? That's my phone. Oh, you collect your phone? Dude, you guys really listening to that in this car? Yeah. It's very fitting. This. What? What does it tell us, Dustin? Dustin, if you let us drive your T-Hell, we'd be listening to Paul Wall. Slim Thug.